Looking wannabe, Mr. Rogers, pointy Fine. beard, having Disney villain, no tan in the middle of August, bald headed, untalented, wide eyed man child! It's not like you practiced that. Thanks, I did. You dog faced, giant nose having. <sighs> Alright. Now sit here and be quiet. I have a lot of work I gotta get done. You'll barely know I'm here. That's an interesting choice, I guess. I mean, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but you know, it's deep. Data zone. What? Is this a record player? Why am I not supposed to have a record player? No, I mean, it's fine to have a record player. I mean, you know, I guess, you know, digital music is just too perfect for you. But, you know, whatever. You like, you like what you like, and that's, that's okay, I suppose. in the world to put you in. Calm down. You know what make you feel better? If you did another episode of Whoa, well, I don't want to read that. I haven't made one in like two months. <gasps> You're right. Let's do it! In Loot, we meet a young boy named March, who's, you know, he's out in Europe with his dad just doing regular kid things, you know, like, burgling people! <laughs> That's right, Jude Watson was like, oh, what's that? You're not supposed to write books where you're teaching kids how to rob people? Well, too bad, because my character's gonna be burgling everybody. So much burgling. March and his horrible influence of a dad are trying to pull off one last heist. But something horrible goes wrong, which leaves March all alone to try to interpret his father's last words. Something about finding jewels. But not like gems jewels. Jewels. J-E... No. J-U-L-E-S. English teacher. It's a name. The name of his long lost sister. <laughs> and now, Loot is a totally engaging mystery story that twists your expectations this way and that. And you know what? It's nothing but plot. So if you're a big fan of the name of this book is Secret Series... <laughs> so everybody, totally read Loot. Wonderful. Thanks to Mrs. Bochies, our librarian, for recommending this book to me last year. I'm sorry it took me a year to read it. How stupid you were, 2014, Mr. Wasco. <laughs> yeah, because now you're so smart. With your stupid magician beard, you Dumbledore wannabe Hogwarts looking oatmeal eating. Oatmeal eating? Mealy mouthed, head shaped like a banana, skinnier than a magpie. Skinnier than a magpie? What's a magpie? Onion sniffing, bald headed, hairy toe having, too ugly even for radio fat doodle! I missed you, Brenda. I missed you too, Fop Doodle. <laughs>